This is the Schrade SCHF-59 Full Tang Fixed Blade Knife. Built full tang tough and forged from a single slab of 65mn high carbon steel, the SCHF-59 is designed to take on the toughest bushcraft and camping chores. Whether batoning or making feather sticks, the SCHF-59 boasts top-notch edge retention, ensuring that you never lose your edge. Weighing just over 6 ounces, the SCHF-59 features a 4-inch long drop point blade that is razor sharp and big enough to handle a variety of bushcraft tasks without weighing you down. A 2.5-inch topside false edge enhances penetration power when piercing or using the SCHF-59 for drilling tasks, such as tapping trees for water. Textured G10 handle slabs give the SCHF-59 a slim profile and allow for a comfortable full grip regardless of weather conditions. The spine of the blade features thumb rest jimping to furthermore enhance grip during power cuts while promoting all-day blister-free use. An ergonomic finger guard keeps fingers well behind the blade. The SCHF-59 arrives seriously sharp in a black thermoplastic belt sheath featuring an oversized belt loop that attaches to any size belt and includes a quality ferrule rod guaranteeing that you'll have a campfire wherever your adventures may take you. Ready for adventure, crafted from premium materials and built for a lifetime. This is the Schrade SCHF-59 Full Tang Fixed Blade Knife. Find the SCHF-59 online or at your favorite local retailer. We're going to talk a little bit about the Bessia today. Uh, we don't typically review our own knives, we leave that up to others, but we'll give you an overview. Um, if you haven't seen the Bestia yet, I'd be surprised. But this is basically, it's a kukri style knife. Uh, I wouldn't really call this a kukri uh, because the shape is a little different. But basically what you're looking at is, it's, it's a chopping tool. So it's a quarter inch thick. It's got a nice high grind on it. Um, but it's thick all the way up to here. And the way that this is canted gives you that kukri type edge especially for chopping right here that is uh, what's what's good about that I guess or, or comfortable about that is when you're holding this in that grip to chop with as you swing you can see I don't have to break my wrist to chop into what I'm trying to hit I can I can keep my wrist nice and solid and this edge is going to be making contact ahead of my arm so that's that's what makes kukris so useful as a chopping tool that's what makes axes so useful as a chopping tool is that the blade is actually in front of your your body so you don't have to swing as far you don't have to break your wrist you don't have to do any of that you just get a good you get a good chopping motion and a good swing without having to break your wrist like you would with a machete so this is meant for you know larger things maybe harder woods than you would normally use a machete on um, what's cool about it is you've got a really long handle so even if you have humongous hands you're still gonna find a good grip here if you need to do some of the finer tasks and kind of use that front part of the blade you can choke up and use the choil um, you know so there's a there's a lot of versatility built into this but first and foremost it's called the bestia clearly this is made for chopping it is made to just demolish wood one note before we actually show, show some use with this bad boy. Don't be this guy. Whoever chopped this tree down, this tree was clearly alive. This is a campsite here in Idaho um, that we just rolled up to. I mean, you can see these guys are still setting up the, their trailer over there. Um, somebody chopped this down fairly recently. I mean, this wood is still pretty soft. Like, I can still dent it with my fingernail. This tree was alive. Don't chop down live trees at campsites. If you didn't bring firewood, go buy some damn firewood. Don't, don't, don't be this person, okay? This is, this is not cool. However, since we're here, we, need, we, we gotta use this knife anyway. This tree was already chopped down. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and, and just show you some use with this knife. But again, don't chop down live trees unless it's on your own private property or you have a reason to do so that is other than just for firewood. Hey, it's Seth from Gerber, and this is the Ultimate Fixed Blade. When you're braving the outdoors, it's about working smarter, not harder. That sentiment is reflected in the knowledge you possess, but also the gear you bring along. The Ultimate Fixed Blade is designed to meet your basic survival needs, food, shelter, and fire. This multi-purpose knife corrals multiple tools into one smart design. The full tang blade has a partially serrated edge to handle a multitude of tasks and materials. 
Warmth isn't an issue with a fire striking edge that pairs with the included ferrocerium rod. Long haul days call for comfort as well as function. A rubber overmold handle reduces hot spots, lashing holes keep the knife secure, and an emergency whistle could save the day. The sheath not only houses the knife safely, it also includes an integrated sharpener for on-the-go touch-ups. The ferrocerium rod snaps into the sheath until called into action. Take control of your reality in the wild with a tool that is optimized for your survival. It's chock full of features that you can rely on when challenges arise. The ultimate fixed blade isn't just a knife. It's a multifunctional tool that every outdoorsman should keep on hand. Like all Gerber products, the ultimate fixed blade is backed by the Gerber Guarantee. The Murakni Bushcraft Black Sea is a sturdy knife with multifunctional features. The spine is ground to a 90 degree sharp angle, making it compatible with a fire starter. The 3.2 mm thick blade is made of carbon steel and has a DLC coating that to some extent protects against rust. Keep in mind though that carbon steel needs to be maintained. So make it a habit to wipe your knife and oil the blade after using it. This knife has everything a real bushcraft enthusiast needs.